This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Apologies about the noise in the background. We are at our locals because it's the only capacity in which we can do these profiles for you and all that good stuff. Anyway, today we've got Kev back on the channel. He's been here before uh, and he's bringing us his Amazement deck profile. Oh, so yeah. your first time playing it today, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not my deck, Mrs. Deck. Mrs. She's deck. Like, oh, do you want to play it? So I was like, yeah, go on then. And she didn't want to clickbait for me. No, annoyingly. She uh, didn't want to become, in her words, a Yugi Ho. Oh. She's in the wrong business. So. Rest, rest in peace. Right, <laughs> shall we get stuck into the profile then? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so uh, the main job of the amazements is to activate trap cards that can target either you or your opponent's monsters, and they each have different effects. Sure. Um, they have their own um, mini seek. Not many six, sorry. Multi faker. Multi faker, that's the one. Yeah. Um. So Alenko, uh, who to me just looks like a sparky Willy Wonka. Um. His effect is he can Whoa. special summon himself whenever a trap card is activated, so it could be yours or your opponent. Yeah. Um. Which is nice. I'm tired. Um, he has an effect on your turn where he can banish any amount of amazement traps from your graveyard to target cards your opponent draws and destroy them. Yep. Uh, which is handy for board wipes. Um. And he's also got another effect where. If your opponent normally special summons a monster, you can attach a amazement trap card onto them um, directly from your deck, which is good because if you use trap trigger in that turn, obviously you can't activate a trap, but you can still equip it. Yeah, so it's kind of handy in that way. Gets around that lock. Um, yeah, he's like their big, big boss man. He's two six, so he's got his own uses. Uh, so play three of them. Yep. Free of Comica. Yep. Um, she's basically what you really want to open because when she's normal summoned, you can set one attraction trap directly from your deck. And then she's also got a quick effect for the same one of the other monsters that you can change the target of your trap. So if you've got a trap equipped to your opponent, you can quick effect to change it to you to then work around what you need to do. Sure. Uh, depending on the situation. Um, yeah, these are all once per turns as well. Uh, but yeah, she's what you really want to open. She's level four. She, and then you got uh, Five Nights at Freddy. Yeah. Uh, this guy basically he helps you uh, reoccur traps that are in your graveyard. So he will um, target one trap in the graveyard and target a face up monster your opponent controls and equip it to that target. So you get one of your traps from your grave, equip it, and then it's also got the quick effect, the same as this, where it could swap them around. Sure. So if you don't want the effect where it's targeting the opponent, you change it to that. Um, so two of that. Free Ash because Ash. Yep. And um, that is it for the monsters. Sure. Um, really, 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 really long monsters. And then free of amazement, amazing time ticket. Sorry. Yep. Um, so this guy pay hundred, uh, pay eight hundred. Sorry, uh, apply this effect. So depending again, same situation with the traps. Depending on whose turn you activate, it has two different things. On your turn, you can add one amazement card from your deck to your hand, mm -hmm. and then if it's a new opponent's turn, you can set a amazing time to get straight from your deck. Yep. So that's basically the in-house rotor. Guess grabs the free. We know what that does. Yep. Uh, okay, and then to the traps. So horror house. Basically, they've all got the same um, effect. We're going to activate one of the effects once per turn, but you can still at least activate the card more yep. than once to help. Get your big boy out. Um, this one, on if it's attached to your card, it basically veils the opponent's card. If it's attached to your opponent's monster, it book of moons it. Sure. So it's got two handy effects. Um, so yeah, good to stop in place. Psycho like coaster. Um, again, same situation as that. Um, it's got its own effect where if you target, if you're targeted to your card, you can choose when your opponent's got a trap card and send it to the grave. Yep. It's not even destroy. Which I found out today. Just handy. handy. And then if it's attached to your opponent's card, you can add an amazement monster from your deck to your hand. Um, so obviously you activate this quickly, get your search, and then you've got your big boy ready for next turn. So play three of that. Yep. One of this, this is just a, a tech in um, to this card. It's got an effect where it can change an opponent's level, the monster's level, so obviously mm -hmm. if you're against zoo or anything like that. But if you're against anything that needs to synchro summon or for example if you're playing PKs, anything like that, mm -hmm. you can obviously alter their 
uh, levels to cause problems. Yeah. I can't remember what his other effect is because I never use it. Uh, so that's that's the if it's attached to your opponent, then if you target your card, you can target one card to your opponent's graveyard. Um, if your opponent wants to change the, uh, so you ch quibble to your monster, sorry, change to defense position, target one card in their grave, and shuffle it back into the deck. Okay, sure. So interruptions with that. Family faces. Uh, only problem with this card is it's not an amazement attraction card, so you can't search it with most of the. So you can't set it with the monsters. You yep. can search it with a ticket, um, but this one basically is you target one monster your opponent controls that is uh, equipped with one of your trap cards. You can take control of it, negate its effect, and it becomes an amazement card. Sure. Um, so that's just a little snatch deal. Two infirm. Yeah. Free strike. Yeah. Free judgment. Yeah. Two punishment. Yeah. Don't need to take these because you all know what they do. Yeah. Trap trick, and then tickaboo which is the main floodgate of this deck. Sure. And then the extra, Preentis for the Dogmatica. Yep. And then two Ignister for the Dogmatica. Yeah. You know what they do. And then this one. Uh, so when this is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished cards. That's the pre-Madonna card, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so basically you can recycle the stuff that you've banished off the Arlen code. Yeah. If you choose to do that. Zeus. Zeus, yeah. Red Eye Flare Metal, in case you want to overlay the two level sevens. Yep. I don't know what you would want to do. Abyss Dweller. Yep. Baguska, in case it all goes horribly wrong and you've got no other plays. Yep. Tornado Dragon. Yep. Um, Clive Thief. Yep. And then Unicorn, Phoenix, Cerberus. Yep. And that's a pretty standard. Uh, good I really got, didn't really come much forward to the extra deck because I was just rushing around. Um, and then the good thing about this is I tend to find that this seems to be better going into siding because the amount of traps that you can add into it to help. It's just, a lot of variance. Yeah, you've got, obviously you've got things like Imperial Order, you've got your Ants Spell Fragrance, uh, even these, anything like that. And then my tech for today, which I put into the side, is Banquet of Millions. Okay, no idea what this does. So if nobody knows what it does, it uh, allows you to banish any number of cards from your extra deck face down and then you banish the same amount from your opponent's extra deck. Until the end of the turn. Okay. Do you choose so, or is it? Uh, well, they can choose, but what you tend to do is just activate this, banish at 15. Oh, okay, yeah, then they, and then they can't do anything. So if you're getting something like Tri Brigade, That's what but the problem with Tri Brigade is they just, they just shit all over you the next turn, <laughs> which is a nightmare, but it's just fun for Lars today. Um, it probably can be useful in some situations, but yeah, it's just, it's just more of a case of you let your opponent do all their plays, then you flip this when they want to go for their big link plays or their exceed plays, banish a certain amount of cards. You can choose your one, so it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah. Um, and then they have to banish the equal amount until the end of the turn. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, just a quick little hash together for that. Okay, and what do you think about the deck as a whole? Uh, well, point two one so far. I'm going to try again later. I'm going to keep going. Um, it's fun. It's got its opportunities to cause problems. Um, but like I said, it just seems a lot better going into the side because then you know what you're playing against. You've got more things you can do. So like you can take out the level, change in trap that's dead if you're playing against a link um, orientated deck. Like if you're against Tri Brigade, that's pointless because it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, it has, it has, it's, it's fun. I know there's loads of different variants you can do with it. Um, I just want to go for pure today to see what it's like. Good fun at locals. Yeah, there is another card that's coming out, I think, in the next set where it's basically a, you can target one, you can reveal it, special summon. So you reveal a trap, you special summon her, then you can take the trap from your hand if it's dead, put it in your deck and get a better one out that you need that's more useful. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's all it is. It's just sort of fun. fun deck for the day. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Right, really appreciate it. Uh, thank the missus for letting you bring the cards along with you. I will do. Shame she didn't click bait for us, but there you go. Uh, she'll, she'll be back. I'll get her to come all dressed up as Dark Magician. Not Dark Magician girl, you can come as Dark Magician. Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much once again. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.